What's going on guys? Stevie from the Minute Masters here and today I'm going to show you how to install the Borgeson steering shaft. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this one. For those who are watching me for the first time, welcome to the Minute Masters where I have over 100 videos showing how to work on this model year of Ford and Bronco. So if you need videos on repairs, restoration, or straight up cool mods, hit that subscribe button down there and you can watch me regularly. So let's jump into it. If you own one of these old vehicles, you've probably observed that the steering's got a lot of extra slop in it. There's any number of reasons why that could be, but if you've gone through most of your lower suspension pieces, you'll probably come to this as final piece, which is your steering shaft. It's an improvement, number one, because it has zero miles on it, so you know the joints are fresh. And two, it eliminates the rag joint down here. So this is a piece of rubber and it's meant to kind of eliminate some of the uh, vibration and things that normally travel up your steering column, but it also allows a lot of extra wiggle room and especially at 230,000 miles, it's probably extra gummy. So let's get started on installing this shaft. So your first step is to go underneath your dash. So you don't need to remove any of the trim. You go right under here and you'll see that this universal joint right here and there's a bolt here and there's a bolt here. Now, as per the Borgeson directions, you wanna remove that entire universal joint because you don't wanna pull that through the firewall. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so with your bolts out, you're just gonna reach up here. And again, as usual, I'm one-handed and we're gonna work it out. So there we go, one end off. And then I'm gonna see if I can get this other. There we go. <laughs> so just that easy. And then you can just push your drive shaft through the firewall and we'll pull it the rest of the way out the other side. So here we are, we're on the engine bay side of the drive shaft. And where I left off, we had about this much sticking through the firewall. I pushed the remainder through, but because it is boot, you know, we can't see the end, but you can definitely tell it's loose and on this side. So at this point, we have to unbolt it from the steering box. So this nut that I'm queued up on is what holds it on to, as you can see at the end of my fingertip there, those splines. So let's unbolt that. Okay, so we're unbolted at this point. We should be able to pull it right off. All right, so with the bolt all the way out, you should just be able to pull it right off like that. And then we should be able to kind of slide this up. Oh, there we go, forward. And work it out, there we go. So there's our stock steering shaft. Okay. And let's put our Borgeson right next to it. And probably the first thing that should stand out to you is how much larger the Borgeson is, I should say longer. And that's because they make it extra long so that we can cut it down to fit the right size. So that leads us to our next part, which is how to size this puppy up. All right, so I have my two steering shafts here. I moved my operation inside because of some obnoxious cicadas. Anyway, so we have our two steering shafts. The Borgeson one is too long because this is fully collapsed and this one isn't. And a steering shaft should be able to collapse because in the event of an accident, you don't want a solid steel rod impacting the driver, which is what would happen. You want it to collapse and save your driver. So the easiest way to figure out how far you need to cut this outer sleeve, which is what Borgeson recommends, just collapse your stock shaft all the way down. Okay, that's your best indicator. That's what you wanna to try to imitate. So, I took the liberty of loosening this and removing it. It's just basically two nuts that are around these set screws. The set screws are held in by a 530 seconds L key. So you take that off and then basically hold your universal joint next to this one and go, hmm, if it need about an inch to fit inside, boom, strike your mark. That's where you've got to cut. Now you'll notice I have a slight dilemma. This shaft has this steel sleeve. Now I believe that's the vibration dampener sleeve. You can actually knock it with a hammer and you can knock it down the shaft. So I knocked it down about an inch. And basically this is where I figure 
I'll put my universal joint right there, pretty much next to it, okay? And here's the stock steering shaft. So just extending it about three quarters of an inch, I'm at the same length, okay? So problem solved. I'm gonna go cut this outer steel shaft right here, drill a new hole in it, okay? So that the set pin can go through and then we can install it in the truck. So before I start installing it, I just wanted to bring you back so you can see I have cut the Borgeson down. So now it's about the right length that you'd want it if it's collapsed. So let's install this bad boy. All right, so we're here in the engine bay and I've taken the liberty of putting the shaft down in here, okay? And we're gonna wanna fish it through the firewall, through this uh, rubber boot. So you just have to line them up, put it right in there, nice and easy. All right, and then you're just gonna leave it there just like that. And we're gonna go to the other side and we attach that side first, and then we come back and attach the engine bay side. So here we are, we're back under the dash where we're gonna hook up our new universal joint. So according to the Borgeson directions, you're gonna to want to hook it onto the steering column first, then the shaft. So same thing, you're gonna to wanna to back off those nuts that are on there and these set screws. And then you're just gonna put this sucker on here. So let's line this up. Okay. So we've got that one on there and I'm just gonna orient that a little ahead of time. And it's gonna take the 530 seconds L key. So one, two. Okay. Then you'll put your nuts on these. And then aside from a little tightening, you're all ready to go there, which I can do the tightening after I show you guys to do this. So then we'll slide on our shaft. Okay. And then let's get this first one all the way through here until it stops. All right, full stop there. And full stop there. All right. So I'm just gonna tighten these up so they're nice and snug and we'll go to the engine bay side and we'll hook up that end. All right, so we're back down here in the engine bay again. Here's the other end of our steering shaft. So you notice there's splines on the steering gearbox and there's splines at the end of the shaft. So you really can't get them messed up. So you're basically gonna pull your shaft forward and you're gonna line it up with the splines there, kind of wiggle it on. I'm just gonna check to see where the steering wheel is, still good. And just gonna wiggle it. Okay, so that's a little far. See how, where the splines are right there? You don't want those sticking too far past, so you kind of want that even middle spot right there. All right, and that's it. So we're just gonna tighten up this set screw here and this bolt, and we are good to go for a test drive. All right, so the moment you've all been waiting for, the test drive. So just cruising around the neighborhood like I normally do, and I will tell you right off the bat, the first thing you feel is how precise your steering is. I think before you got used to driving one of these OBS Fords and you know, there's always kind of the side to side and there's still a little bit of that, but I feel like as I'm turning, I know exactly where I am in the clock. So as to, you know, so as to put it. So if you're clocking your wheel, I know where I'm at, where before it was very like, oh, I think I'm going in that direction. I think I'm, Part of the way through my turn you know there's just that much kind of looseness in it but this is very precise i feel like there's actual engineer precision made gears steering this truck now and i'm telling you it's very very nice i feel like the truck stays nice and straight i've got my my steering wheel lined up very nicely uh one thing you may notice when you go do this test drive is depending on how you put the steering shaft onto the where I say the universal joint onto the steering gear box, your steering wheel may be a little cocked weird in here when you go to drive. All you do, simply go under the hood, undo the universal joint, put it right back on and, the, and you know, clock it whichever direction you need to straighten the wheel up and you'll be good to go. So there you are guys, that is how you install the Borgeson steering shaft. I really hope you enjoy this video and you give this a try because there's nothing more than making these trucks feel like new, if not better than new. So that's all for me, guys. 
Hit the subscribe icon over here. Check out some of the other videos. I'm Stevie from the Minute Masters. Thanks for watching.